Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Time for a product review or showcase. We haven't done any for quite some time, and we're, we're going to get back to it. We're going to start with Fireball's Pirouette, and this is their version of an SIO2 uh, water-based ceramic-infused spray sealant. Uh, 16 ounces for $34.99. And this is great for a topper, standalone. You can use it wet, dry, so you can apply it just like I am right here, spraying it onto a dry applicator, or you could use it as a drying aid. As long as you get it on the panel and you spread it out evenly, you're gonna be perfectly fine and love the results. You can use it to protect surfaces that have no protection at all as a standalone. Just do your proper prep, wash, decontamination, clay, iron remover, at least a one step, or you could use it on a car that's already been coated, such as this vehicle here. And this one has been PPF'd. It's also been coated on top of that. So we're using this for a maintenance topper on this particular vehicle. And you could see the PPF right there. Um, and it's giving it a nice gloss, a nice sheen, some depth, and slickness as well. Uh, not as much slickness as I was expecting, but uh, a little bit of a difference uh, from the original feel of the panel. So let me give you the first person view. It definitely is easy to apply. You'll see when we get to the test panel, which is a dark panel, that the product evaporates as you're buffing it into the panel. So quick and easy. Already getting a nice sheen, just give it the proper cure time. Don't wash it for the next 12 to 24 hours. This can be applied to all the hard surfaces on your car, truck, or motorcycle, including headlights, taillights, parking lights. Any type of wheel, calipers, or fender wells. Had no problem whatsoever applying to glass and black piano finish trim. And in no time at all, I was around that car rather quickly. So far, so good. All right, let's get some numbers behind what we're seeing. Do keep in mind this car already has protection, so I want to make sure we're not dropping back or kicking back the gloss using this product. And that's not the case at all. That will cover application. Let's jump to the test panel. The test panel obviously has no protection whatsoever, so you're going to wash it, decon, at least a one step. That'll give you the best bond. Uh, the more you put into prep, the more you're going to get out of each product. Let's get it applied. 
You're going to see the ease of use a lot easier on this darker panel, and I'll give you a couple different angles so you can get the best view. All right, so all you do from here is sit back, relax, enjoy the results, let it cure. So I'm going to let it cure overnight, uh, maybe a day or two till I can get back to it. Then we'll play a little bit. Okay, well into 36 hours of cure time. I come back and it feels slightly slicker than the rest of the panel. Uh, and you can see the block takes off just a little bit quicker in the protected area. When it comes to gloss, let's put some numbers behind what we're seeing. Not the highest numbers on the channel, but uh, nice and impressive. At the end of the video, you're going to see where we started, uh, the numbers we started on a naked panel. And then I like to take the panel outside in direct sunlight and pull off the tape, see if there's a jetting effect, or does it make the area look darker and richer? Give it a little bit more depth in the areas you apply it to. And in no ways does this testing um, and my looking at products like this uh, take the place of what Mother Nature can do to a car if you apply it and go and use it. Putting it on a panel and setting it out back does absolutely nothing. It will tell you absolutely nothing. But this here gives me a little information to start off on the product until I wait for cars to come back and see how they hold up. Uh, in real world situations. So let's take a look at the water beading properties and this product here will bead water and does a good job. All right, I'm gonna give it a few washes with a strip wash and we'll just take a look and see do those characteristics start to change quickly. Uh, testing back in the day, there were some sealants and toppers that they didn't even make it past a few washes. This seems to be holding up well. All right, there you go. So for what it's worth, it holds up to a few um, over 10 or so washes with a strip wash. Let's bump up the um, aggression a little bit with a stripper itself. And this is Angel Wax Strip Ease. This is what I'll use to remove old sealants, old waxes, and polish residue. All right, so we'll reset the camera and we'll rinse it off, then I'll wash it again with the strip wash and we'll take a look at the test area. So with the stronger product uh, attacking it, but I mean, who cares for a topper? 
or coating with a strip wash, right? But at least we know what will start to break it down and the beading is starting to go away and being replaced by a bit of sheeting. That doesn't mean the protection is gone. If you're going a little bit flat, the properties are starting to break down a bit, but you still may have some form of protection. I believe this here will finish it off. This, of course, Citral 266, the sealant killer. That will indeed take care of Fireball Pirouette. However, again, I have to mention this is not a substitute for what Mother Nature can throw at your car. So down in the comments section, and by the way, here we're seeing if it has any gloss hold whatsoever, and you're seeing what the uh, panel started at and it jumped up nearly 10 degrees, so very impressive. But if you're a user, put down in the comments section your results and uh, the experience you had and share it with others. Catch you in the next video.